Alright. Transgender update. Um I'm gonna save down real quick. Good? Okay. Uh basically what to say? Uh came out to my dad, that was awesome. Came out to my mom, which is a hard thing. And she took to it really, really well. And I didn't think she would, but she did. Uh, I think the hardest thing that I did today was coming out to my brother. He wasn't too keen on it. I think the thing that bothered him the most was that I was wanting to legally change my name over. Eventually, I will actually legally change it. Um, basically, he told me that he didn't want me to change my name because he found... It was out of disrespect for my parents, and I mean, I see where he's coming from, but it seems like that name was associated with the female part of me, and I don't, it's just, I can't do that anymore, and basically, um, I'm ta changing my name because it's going to fit with the whole change that I'm making for myself. Uh... I guess we can move on to the actual, like, physical things I'm starting to learn to do <laughs> since I've fully accepted myself and I'm fully ready to do this process. Um, I recently, since my parents are solely supportive in it and my birthday's coming up soon, I asked them if they could buy me my first chest binder because right now I don't have a job <laughs> and I'm looking hardcore for a job so I can start supporting my transition that I'll soon hopefully start making um, it, it'll happen it's just a matter of time obviously uh, yeah I talked to my mom and I asked her if I could get the gift early because I just couldn't wait anymore to bind my chest because me being a trans man like I don't have a small chest so I can't just like hide it under a teacher or put on a sports bra and call it a day. So having a chest binder would really help me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I talk. Okay, chest binder. Um, I made my first STP device. Well, actually, it's not my first one I made. I made several because I can't afford it. Obviously, no job, no money, can't afford shit. So. Uh, the first one I made was really ghetto. I basically just used duct tape and a water bottle. And I first made the slant out of it, and like, every time I was doing it, either I was getting backflow, or just, it was not working for me. I was just always getting spillage. And no, I haven't tried my STP if I out in public, just for the fact that I don't feel safe with it yet. Right now, I'm just constantly trying it at home, trying different methods with it. And then I made another device thinking that one would work too without the tape and just to cut it. And that didn't really work either. So, yeah, let me show you real quick my STP device. Uh, I keep it in my bathroom. It's kind of secret, like people can't really figure it out because it's a water bottle until they see this put cut portion right here. It's really ghetto and gaudy, but if you don't have anything else, it's really helpful. So, I pretty much just took it, uh, I took my pocket knife, and I pretty much just cut this right here. And I figured the reason I wasn't working so well is because I didn't have anything in the back to stop it from flowing backwards. And having an STB for the first time, I really didn't know what to do. So, I officially made this one, and this one actually works for me. Uh, because you just pee in here, and I don't know why I still have the cap on it, I really don't. But it doesn't have a lot of backflow because there's enough space for the, the pee to just flow, obviously. And I don't have any backflow back here because there's nothing to fall out. So this is my temporary STP device. I'm going to be doing more things trying to make a better one until I can actually afford a good one. Uh... And then today, I officially made my first actual packer. Uh, I was a little keen on making this because I don't have the money to buy the actual, like, ones that I've seen, like the Mr. Olympia and all those, which are really cool and all, but eventually I'll get one of them. 
Um, I made my first one. Uh, I just took two socks. Two socks. That's it. I don't even remember how I folded it, but I rolled one up. I put it in the second one, and I folded it over enough because I didn't want to like overdo it, or it looks like I have a giant package in my pants because then it just to a point it looks unnatural, <laughs> and I didn't want that. So uh, I had the sock, and I put the I rolled it up, and I put put it in the second one. And then I just folded it up a certain way, and in between the two flaps in my boxers, I attached it to the back, so it's not like I'm attaching it straight from skin to boxers. I just took it and I basically, I pinned it to the back portion, if you get, you understand what I'm talking about. I just used one safety pin and I pinned it to the back, and tonight's the first time I tried on my Packer, and I'm trying it on jeans right now, and it looks okay, I guess. Um, it's alright for now. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the updates on the physical things I'm trying out right now. Um, mm, I guess I'll come back to you guys when I have more things that are going to happen. I'll definitely be coming back when I actually get my chest binder. I'm going to show you what it looks like with and without and all that stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.